Hey guys, welcome back again to another reaction video. This time it's going to be Matt from High Prairie Sportsman going to be re reacting to his video. And it says 10 a.m. Three Man Mallard Limits. These guys, I think they do it to me on purpose. They know how much I love mallards, so they always send me the good mallard hunts. But it's a 28 gauge mallard duck hunt in 2021. I know this video. I watched it when it first came out, but it's been several months since I've seen it. So looking forward to reacting to this and watching this video. So I hope you guys do too. Hey, don't forget to check out Matt's channel from High Prairie Sportsman. Go subscribe to his channel. I'll put the link down in the description below if you haven't heard of him yet. And let's get started. Already got fistfuls of mallards. These guys always they, they always have good hunts together. Oh man. Oh. You know what's frustrating to me is I was buying that 28 gauge back in December and that gun store really hosed me on that one. They uh there was three left, so I ordered one the exact same one Matt's got. Oh look at that. And uh um, guys, so Went out on the Anyways, side, had an awesome time. they Four said they ordered it, and I checked in. Uh, the California has a 10-day waiting period. I checked in about two so weeks and said, is it ready to pick up? And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Headings. We forgot to order your shotgun. And then they were all sold out. So I got really hosed on. I was pretty bummed. So I have to. now it's almost impossible to find a gun to buy. We'll see what happens. Heard some ducks talking. I've always wanted to hunt small water like this too. Hopefully, we get some mallards in here. Just a good, a good chilly, moving water. Lower teens. Small water. It's all iced up. It's almost time. Already they're cut. Right before shooting light, we had some mallard drakes dump in, including this one here. He went and landed, and as soon as it was shooting light, I jumped up and looked for him. And it turned out he swam up just a little bit out of ways. Already dumped Still in. Still could have shot him, but I decided to wait for a better shooting opportunity. And I didn't have to wait very long. Comes one right in the face. Smoked him. I love that 28 gauge. I, like I said, I wish I was so bad I had that gun. Good shot. So I was first on the board, and as I'm going out to pick up my Drake, here comes another couple birds in, and Tyler just makes a great shot on this one duck. Smoked him. And just like that, we had two mallards down, and then we had to wait a little bit. This pair just dumped in from sky high. We thought they were going to keep flying past us, and all of a sudden they put the brakes on and cup in, and... Tyler got the drake, and we let the hen go, and this is pretty much how it was early on in the morning. A few singles, we had that one drake land before shooting light, and then he got out. And I'm not sure what. a few other you know pairs and singles up high and a couple other bigger groups, but they just weren't the other guys shooting land, but the what gun as far as if it's a 20 gauge or 28, but. Such a Here's awesome a setting. Here's a bunch of mallards, got some full bodies, floaters. We just lined it right here in this little bend. And they've been trying to decoy here. We've had some decoy back here. So perfect. Small water. Beautiful country. Water. Snow. Yet. Probably a lot of things. Other things are frozen up. So this group of three came around, and they just never would come close enough to commit in. And they actually landed a few hundred yards away from us, down on another part of the slough we were hunting. So Tyler and Jack decided to get up, go after them, so they're not pulling future birds away from us. And the old adage about someone being out of the blind during duck hunting held true once again. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, those are so close. Yep. Yep. And all of a sudden, I look up and these two mallard drakes are coming in. And I look up in the sky and there's just thousands of ducks. The sky is literally black with ducks. <laughs> they don't even care. Boom. Boom. Haha, <laughs> double. Shh. Mop took his head off. Matt's lethal with that 20 gauge, that's for sure. Good shot. 
Good lead. Took feathers and off. That is why we decided to leave one guy in the blind, and as luck would have it, that happened to be me. Had those two birds in tight, I mean super tight, and got the double. Picked them up as Jack and Tyler were coming back. They each shot a mallard drake. They were rushing back to the blind after they saw the massive amount of birds flying overhead. And we jumped in the blind as fast as we could, and it wasn't much longer before we had some more ducks come by. Fistfuls of green, there ain't nothing better. It just kind of makes you wonder how many birds were in the spot, like, the prior days, you know, like, how many thousands of them. Because the more that stack in there, the more that going to keep stacking. <clears throat> All right, only about an hour in, we got three green heads. That's not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Hopefully get a few more. All right, we're putting some spinners out. We're seeing some ducks, but only a few are giving us the look. So see if these spinners can't bring them in. Shortly thereafter, we decided to make a move and set up straight in front of us as the slough curved around mm -hmm. and there was actually like a little peninsula with thicker cattails. So we decided to set up there and as soon as we got out there, a group of three or four flew by once again and dumped into that same spot that the earlier three had. So Jack decided to go and jump them. Crazy, they don't just dump in here and land by themselves in a pocket, but... That sounds about how mallards are though. They like to be separate. Those are some big old drinks. shot. Who shot that? Nice. <laughs> Tyler got his limit. They don't decoy much prettier than that. So Tyler was done with his mallard limit. And Tyler, that's his name. Yeah, I've, back to his I've talked to Tyler. He decided to grab some decoys and throw them on the other side Let's to try to really get the center up on us. And right after we got done doing that, here comes another wave of mallards. Which one? <laughs> All right, almost nine o'clock, and we are three mallards away from being limited out. I need two myself. Jack needs one, and Tyler is done. He's just waiting on a bonus duck. And then it's probably like nine o'clock. They're not really decoy. I mean, the when they come and decoy, they decoy in super tight. But a lot of them are just keep going up. There's a a big raft of them up there. We're guessing. Well, we can hear them actually. So, a lot of live decoys we're competing with, but. I don't know. I think if we wait long enough, we'll get we'll get her finished out here. It's getting really chilly though. We got a nice little wind. Well, I bet. Uh, I bet it's cold out there. It's starting to flurry again. When Matt has that hat on with the little ear flaps, you know it's cold. Oh, perfect, perfect shot. I'm assuming that most of their shots are five to fifteen yards away, nice. max. Should I should go down there. All right, we'll do that. I mean, you can just tell on the yeah, shot cam. I'm the, always the last one to. I mean, I can from looking at them long enough how close these birds are. It's like an overarching close. theme. Jack finished out his limit on that wave of ducks. I was just too awestruck by all the birds and couldn't pick one out. So, wanted you to know the pressure was on me once again. Luckily, though, I didn't have to wait long. Oh my goodness. The sky's black. Look at this. Oh my. That's right. Another wave once again descended upon us. And it was probably the biggest wave that we saw all day. And there were just ducks everywhere. And once again, they were right over my head. And I just couldn't pick one out until I finally saw a green head cupping in. And I dropped him. And then Tyler and Jack shot at some widgeon they didn't get them though unfortunately and then there was another green head that dumped in and i pulled up and shot him too for my second double of the day nice look at it i mean unbelievable amount of birds it's wave after wave holy gosh That'd just be something just cool to see, or just to be a part of. Not 
And we were done. Mean that you're not Decided shooting not them, or at him. I mean, a few the just whole day to see that sky fill up is incredible. Figured we count our blessings and go home with a mallard limit before 10 a.m. I'm good with a mallard limit. I don't need yeah. to be greedy. Right. Two doubles, that's a good day. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> All right. That's a, that's a day oh, bandit, dreams are dude. made of. That'd be something. One day left All in the drinks, season, baby. tomorrow's the last day, and we got a three-man mallard limit before 10 o'clock. Not a bad day. Had to do a little jump shooting. Had a few groups that would land a little far down. Beautiful. Big old sure fluffed up birds. Away from us. But for the most part, most of these birds were decoying, and decoying close. I had my improved cylinder in my 28 gauge, and that was pretty fun. I mean, these are real big old nice mallards. Just great day. All green limit. Can't really beat that. That's awesome. Great way to send out the duck season. That is awesome. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to I like, enjoyed and subscribe, it. and be sure to go out there and support the Check out his video, guys. This was a definitely a great hunt. And they do I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. That I, I never gets old. I think that's I've watched that video more than once, I can tell you that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction video and just Walk, kind of watching this with me, I guess, so to speak. I'm sure you had your own reactions too. And don't forget to check his channel and everybody else in the Flywiz Collective. Outdoor Limits, Freelance Duck Hunting, Duck Gun Chronicles, Virginia Outdoors Unlimited, and High Prairie Sportsman from this video right here. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.